One of Trump's top campaign promises heading into 2024 is immigration reform. He highlights the border crisis as a top issue facing the U.S., something most Americans agree with. A CBS News poll and a Wall Street Journal poll released this month have immigration and the border as the second most important issue behind the economy for voters. Trump says his immigration policies will lead to the largest reform the U.S. has ever seen. It's something he talks about on the campaign trail at every rally. Mass deportations of immigrants who cross the border illegally. Bringing the National Guard and our troops from overseas to the border to stop the record influx of migrants crossing illegally into the country. But this past weekend, his remarks in New Hampshire have largely overshadowed policy in his latest controversy. Here's what Trump had to say. You know, when they let, I think the real number is 15, 16 million people into our country, when they do that, we got a lot of work to do. They're poisoning the blood of our country. That's what they've done. They poison mental institutions and prisons all over the world, not just in South America, not just the three or four countries that we think about. But all over the world, they're coming into our country from Africa, from Asia, all over the world. They're pouring into our country. Nobody's even looking at them. They just come in. Trump is being criticized for saying poisoning the blood of our country, as Hitler's manifesto called the mixing of races blood poisoning. Both Democrats and some Republicans have publicly condemned the former president's choice of words. Trump's rhetoric is something Republicans are getting used to, downplaying the comments of the party's frontrunner. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham was pressed on Trump's remarks. The Biden campaign has accused former President Trump of, quote, parroting Adolf Hitler. What is your reaction? Are the president's comments representative of how you and other Republicans feel? 76 percent of the American people, not Donald Trump, believe the border is broken. They're worried about fentanyl coming over and killing their but kids. But what about his language, Senator? Well, but, Just that language, that poisoning the blood. You know, I, I'm worried about an outcome. He is right. to want. He had the border secured, the lowest in 40 years in December of 2020. To the Biden administration, you're talking about Donald Trump's language, as you said on the sidelines, and allowed the country to be invaded. 172 people on the terrorist watch list have come on your watch. Fentanyl is killing Senator, more Americans Senator, than any time in history. Senator, just on the language, just on the language, though, I want to get your response. You have endorsed former President Trump. Are yeah. you comfortable with him using words like that? You know... We're talking about language. I could care less what language people use as long as we get it right. Graham argues the country should focus on the difference in policy. But because of Trump's word choice, his stance on immigration and his policy proposals are now in the headlines as anti-immigrant. ABC, Trump doubles down on anti-immigration rhetoric. CNN, Trump targets undocumented immigrants as he leans into anti-immigrant rhetoric. And MSNBC, the dangers of Trump's anti-immigrant rhetoric. Trump seemed to attempt to clarify the remarks on Truth Social after his speech, standing by being anti-illegal immigration, and that illegal immigration is poisoning the blood of our nation. Trump's words are known to trigger controversy. He recently said he would be dictator for a day. But his rhetoric doesn't seem to be hurting him in the polls. Trump's lead in the primary is unwavering. No presidential candidate has been this far ahead in national polls and gone on to lose the primary, which means more rallies, more speeches, and more headlines centered on Trump's word choice as 2024 is on the horizon.